What will the buildings of the future look like? We took a trip to the Future Build exhibition in London to find out exactly what our homes, offices, and schools of the future could look like. Come check it out. Welcome back to Going Green. Today we're in East London checking out the Future Build conference. Showcasing all the best in the latest sustainable technologies. This exhibition aims to bring together a number of different sectors in the field of sustainability. From engineering to construction, architecture and conservation, Future Build looks to inspire the transformational change that is needed to push industry toward net zero by showcasing some of the most innovative materials and technologies that are making a breakthrough today. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at some of these technologies so that we can begin to paint a picture of what the future of our cities may look like. Taking it from the top, there are millions of square meters of unused space going to waste in our cities that could be transformed into practical, multi-purpose hubs, rooftops. The Green Roof Organization represents the companies, organizations, and people involved in or interested in nature-based roof solutions like green roofs. They believe that by creating more green roofs, we can help people in cities reconnect with nature, improve their health, and help tackle climate change. They can also halt biodiversity loss by providing places for wildlife to thrive. The rooftops of buildings are an ideal place for us to make small, simple changes that can have a profound impact. But why stop at buildings? Essex-based company Green Roof Shelters see bike shelters, bin stores and bus stops as also the perfect structures on which we can incorporate green roofs. These small-scale shelters can also serve as biodiversity hotspots around cities and generally bring life and vibrancy to busy city streets. Similarly, green walls can also have a huge positive environmental and social impact. Biotexture is one such company seeking to design green walls that include elements that deliberately address a local or native environmental need. They do this by selecting specific species of plants to match a project's individual requirements and goals, whether that's to reduce air pollution, increase biodiversity, or simply offer a sense of connectedness with nature. Now what about structural elements or insulation? Well in the future, hemp may just be the go-to material for both of these needs. Hemp is a fast-growing plant that is adaptable to different climatic and soil conditions, making it the ideal plant to survive and thrive in a world with a changing climate. We will be releasing a video soon all about hemp and its many uses, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. Other natural materials that were showcased at the event included cob, straw bricks, cork and mycelium. Natural building materials as a whole have less embodied carbon, meaning how much energy they require to be produced, and the majority of them have existed for thousands of years. These materials are now re-emerging and surging in popularity due to our increased awareness of their environmental benefits and diverse uses. To learn more about various natural building materials that we've also done another video on, click the link in the description below. Concrete is one of the most energy-intensive materials to produce, yet it is the most used material in the world due to its versatility. Finding a sustainable alternative to concrete, or simply improving its environmental credentials, is essential for creating a greener future. Concrete can be made from practically any rock found anywhere in the world. By focusing on locally sourced materials, we can help reduce the environmental impact of concrete. Another interesting sustainable approach showcased at Future Build is to capture carbon from the atmosphere and infuse it into concrete blocks so that they become a carbon store. By simply modifying the design and shape of concrete too, we can utilize this material so that it can benefit nature as well. For example, this concrete sea defense block, which will be used to protect shorelines from rising sea levels, has had shells and natural forms imprinted into its surface to attract sea life offering various species a safe place to call home. With the rise of all these great natural building materials, the creators of the Future Build Expo were able to truly create a hub for like minds to come together for the betterment of the planet. We had the chance to speak with event director Martin Hearn to learn more about how all this came to be and where Future Build plans to go from here. We're at Future Build and it's been two years since we last run. We were one of the last shows to run just before the pandemic. 
and it's fantastic bringing everyone back together. FutureBuild is all about driving cross-sector collaboration, so it's really about that annual gathering in the built environment, bringing together those architects, contractors, engineers, anyone that's really involved in the specification around sustainable built environment. So next year, we want to focus a lot more on low-carbon materials. I think there's a big space in, in that, especially around the low carbon technologies in, um, in the concrete industry, more timber, uh, more natural building products as well. Uh, we've got some exciting new areas. We're going to focus on lighting and the architectural lighting space, the whole movement around intelligent buildings, um, and then finally about our exteriors, so placemaking. Really we want to create that healthy living in built environment and a place that we can all enjoy. I think what's really interesting for me is the perception of construction and I think you know some people see it as a real sort of traditional um, or male dominated sort of um, uh, industry but actually we're at the cutting edge of technology and I think there's some amazing careers especially in architecture now and I think you know ethics plays a massive role you know you, you look at what architects are doing they're controlling the spaces that we live in and, and for future generations as well so it's so important and I think the younger generation can have a massive impact on, on that space. And if they get involved now, they can have a massive impact in the world, you know, in the environment that they create. So, I mean, don't think that construction is just, you know, on-site bricklaying and, and all of that side. There's a whole, um, you know, industry there. Um, and I think it should be embraced. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. We'll see you in the next one.